This is a Thorium Energy Alliance Technology Talk from the inaugural Future of Energy Conference, October 2009. To find out more about Thorium Energy, please visit thoriumenergyalliance.com. This talk is from Dr. Ralph Moore of the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, whose topic is Thorium Molten Salt Reactors, Restarting Development. I first got involved in this molten salt game in the 70s, and my excuse was I was uh, in the fusion program, and we were trying to design a fusion-fission hybrid reactor. And, and right away, we could see that uh, pumping liquids around uh, was a great advantage in, uh, the, uh, with our terrible geometry problem. In, in the course of that, I got to know the, a lot of the Oak Ridge people, multiple visits to Oak Ridge, and uh, the program experimentally on the main machine was shut down, but the the R&D program continued for a while, and studies continued. And, and uh, you know, I, I, become a, I was a believer right from the beginning. Um, and the theme of my talk today is how to restart development. And that's a thread that's been going through a lot of these talks. Uh, why? Um, the, the lower cost, less waste, extended resource. And, and what's our plan? Well, uh, we need to find a, a mission, a customer, and funding. I, I worked with Edward Teller over about 40 years, but uh, intensely during the last a year of his life, and, and he was really keen on molten salt, thermal, thorium, underground, and beating coal costs. And this was the theme of our paper. And uh, what we did is he uh, took a, the ORNL design of a lifter, um, and, and uh, as modified by Professor Furukawa in Japan. Uh, Furukawa has kept the banner going for a last for a couple of decades, and uh, so that's that's the. Uh, part of this reactor, and uh, the idea is that this is the ground level up here, and uh, we would have uh, so a silo construction, and we wanted to have enough uh, mass over the reactor so that an impact of a commercial airplane couldn't uh, spread radioactivity. Uh, not, not, not enough for a military attack. So by having a berm up here that can be easily removed when you have to do major, major maintenance, you know, and pull off the, the tops here. Um, the uh, final heat comes out and is sent up to a surface power plant of uh, conventional or, or hope, uh, hopefully uh, a closed cycle Brayton. On the cost, I, I present here, and, and I published some years ago, uh, the cost estimates uh, that the Oak Ridge people did. And they were uh, predictions uh, based on 1978 assessments that were done by Oak Ridge uh, of molten salt under two different enrichments, uh, pressurized water reactors and coal plants. And uh, in uh, nine, uh, scaled up to the present dollars, which was $2,000 in that case, um, you see that the molten salt reactor costs uh, in dollars per megawatt hour, 38, uh, was importantly lower than coal. And if you're permitted to run the pure thorium cycle, it's decisively lower. If coal costs uh, have to include sequestration, which they didn't hear, um, that will make the difference really important. Now, for our missions, it, it's almost a no-brainer now that we should think of burning actinides. Um, and, and from light water reactors, um, it, it, you, you get, or any reactor, you know, burns about a thousand kilograms of um, material per year. Um, but a, a, a reactor, light water reactor, produces something like 300 kilograms of uh, plutonium and 30 kilograms of minor actinides. So uh, this means that uh, one lifter should be able to uh, handle uh, the output from about three light water reactors. The important thing is that we could tap into the waste management funds now that uh, should, in principle, just be ac accumulating in some back alleys of this city. Um, now, now the, 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 the further you know, you know, goal should be, you know, thorium breed U-233 and expand to uh, 10 terawatts uh, by the end of the century. And I'll come back to that. Um, and and that, that's the goal where we replace coal power. But coming back to the theme, small power plants for special purposes, like was discussed today, may also be a funding stream that we can get going, and that would be a pilot plant starter for any of these others. 
Now, uh, so we've got to identify the customer, and traditionally it's been government and, and uh, nuclear energy department um, and, and waste management uh, of DOE, both coming under uh, the new man Miller. And then the, the NNSA uh, looks like a possibility for funding. Utilities in the long term might get interested and be helpful. Um, but long term, I mean, you know, they they got to be thinking of buying. So it's, and then foreign governments, we automatically think of China and India uh, because of their uh, vigorous um, development that they're willing to commit to. And we heard uh, this morning about uh, Army and, and Navy interests. Um, and uh, one of the interests of you know development of the Army and Navy is that the uh, it reduces the NRC's involvement, and and that could be a daunting um, problem early on. And and then uh, what about non-government uh, organizations for funding, um, Google and Microsoft, for example? And I'll come to that. So we we need a market pull for this. Now, in the last issue of Nuclear News that I got, it just came out, they talked about the traveling wave reactor as a cover story. And on page 30, there's a quote, Bill Gates is the principal owner of Terra Power. And uh, th this is a project that came out of ideas that Edward Teller was pushing. So Bill Gates is supporting f plutonium fast reactors. Uh, so Google might be interested in supporting thorium molten salt reactors developed as an alternative. And, and the startup would be timely. In, in fact, I think that we can say that Google has made a vote of confidence in the lifter by inviting uh, three people in the room here to give talks there. And these are available on YouTube. Um, the Google people are very keen. Uh, wh what are the elements of a plan to restart the molten salt development on a fast track? Now, Professor Furukawa in Japan uh, worked up a proposal that he thought he had the funding to um, proceed on. He renamed the, the reactor uh, Fuji, and his small one called Mini Fuji, a seven megawatt electric, and uh, this was with Russia. And, and he has the steps here. Uh, $300,000 is about what it would take, uh, an, an effort to write a serious proposal. Uh, about $3 million uh, to develop an R&D plan and a preliminary design of a 10 megawatt unit. And $30 million is estimated the cost to design the unit, and $300 million to build the unit. We also need a lead organization. You know, in the old days, it used to be Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Uh, the other thing we need is uh, who to fund. And it used to be the U.S. government, DOE. Maybe it is, especially um, waste management. But um, there is practically uh, an offer out on the table with Google, I would think. Uh, are we going to fuel with waste from light water reactors? I think that's a good one. Uh, or U-235 to start with, or U-233. Do we want fast versus thermal, thorium versus plutonium, uh, one fluid versus two fluid designs? And, and if, if we talk about two fluid, uh, materials become especially important. And graphite damage uh, is a especially important topic. And, and we need to uh, research separation methods. And uh, there, is a, there are new uh, separation methods called uh, mass separation uh, that is called an Archimedes filter, a mass filter. And that's especially nice because chemical separation can lead to weapons material, but mass separation that is sort of crude, you know, fission products uh, masses versus uh, actinide masses could be very useful. I think we ought to restart by designing and building a 10 megawatt learner pilot plant. And the question is where and how and so forth, but that should be the goal. So in conclusion, chlorine molten salt reactor is ready for a startup entrepreneur to develop a program to build a learner pilot plant of, say, 10 megawatts electric. Um, first goal could be to burn up light water reactor waste in the near term, use thorium to build 10 terawatts by the end of the century, and this would be a major contribution to solving the waste problem, nuclear fission waste problem, and climate CO2 reduction. So uh, my theme is somebody needs to start a company. Thank you.